since the 7th century, countries of the Arab world experienced a golden age of scientific discovery, which saw world pioneering medical and cultural advancements. Yet more recently, the Middle East and North Africa's contribution to global science and engineering publications was only about 2%, according to a 2013 Harvard study. Regional conflict played its part, eroding some MENA countries' intellectual community. A lesson Ahmed from Iraq learned all too well when he was in school. My teacher did not believe in uh, the theory of evolution because they believed that uh, this uh, theory was made by uh, the West to affect us and make us forget about our religion. Ahmed, an engineer and geologist by trade, strongly disagrees and says science is key to an open-minded society. In 2011, he created I Believe in Science, an online platform with more than 3 million followers and 15,000 scientific articles translated to Arabic, breaking the linguistic barrier to knowledge. And about two years ago, he joined Beit al 2.0, an initiative using social media to reach regional people of all ages with the hope of enriching Arabic content online. Baghdad's 8th century House of Wisdom, Beit al was an institution of scholarly discourse and invention. And that's exactly what Ahmed hopes to replicate. We want to create more and more researchers and more teenagers and people interested in science. Maybe we can somehow return uh, the glory of uh, scientific golden age that we once had a few centuries ago. Recognizing many people are offline, Beit al 2.0 recently used hardware to inform people about safe practices during the COVID-19 pandemic in Baghdad which proved challenging as years of misinformation had shaped people's way of thinking. Many people, as many know, didn't even believe that there was a virus. And some of them believed that it was imported from outside to control their life. The information we shared helped them realize how serious the COVID-19 was. With the information, tens of thousands of masks were also distributed. Inspiring minds with science is something you can never start too early and some in the region are equipping young students and learning institutions alike with the right tools to build better life opportunities in the future. This is the goal of Saudi Arabia's Ithra, which means enlightenment in Arabic. The cultural center both teaches science and shows students what doors the discipline can open. Their southern border initiative is educating about 20,000 students in the regions of Najran, Jizan, and South Asir equipping teenagers with job skills for engineering and robotics, and practically applying what they learn instead of just doing homework. Teaching why science is useful is just as important as teaching the subject itself, says one of Ithra's members. One of the students, he transferred the knowledge he received through uh, Ithra educational programs into practical solutions. For example, he invented a device uh, to communicate with his father who has no signal uh, in his area. It's really heartwarming when you see uh, these young minds harnessing this knowledge to uh, create solutions for the problems they are facing uh, in day-to-day -day lives. Creating strong bonds with science early on, says Noura, is how her organization plans to equip young Saudis with the ingenuity to discover tomorrow's solutions.